Making rice turn out the way you want it to starts at the grocery store. Buy long grain rice if you like it light and fluffy and buy short grain if you want it more dense, sticky, and chewy like sushi rice. Stick to the plain white or nuttier tasting browns until you master both and then move on to forbidden black and other exotics. My go-to is usually this one. Before cooking rice, you really should rinse it at least a couple of times. Agitating the grains in a big bowl of water washes away the exterior starch that would normally gum up the works and blur the perceptible edges of each grain. Once the water runs clear, you know that there is nothing left to rinse off. I have gotten so many compliments on my white rice and it really makes me wonder what some of y'all are cranking out. All I do is follow the directions that are on the bag. These big companies do far more testing than I could ever do. And the method works. The only thing that I could think someone could get wrong is not setting a timer. This says to put in two cups of water for one and a half cups of rice and then bring it to a boil. After things start boiling, cover the pot and turn the heat down to the lowest setting. This might be a given, but use the lid that came with your pot. Rice is cooked by steam and so if that lid is not a perfect fit, all the steam will escape. And obviously, never, ever, not ever are you allowed to remove the lid mid-cook. Let it cook for 20 minutes, turn off the heat, and then allow it to steam for 10 more minutes. Once your timer goes off, stop the cooking and separate the grains by opening the lid and fluffing it all up. But say you pop the top and things have gone awry. Hey, no pain, no grain. Here are three quick fixes. If your rice is a little underdone, add a quarter cup of hot water, replace the lid, and wait five minutes. Move quickly so that the residual heat from the pot generates the steam required and finishes the rice. If your rice is nicely cooked but there's excess water, strain out the water and spread it on a sheet to sit in a 350 degree oven for five minutes. Next time around, either reduce the amount of water or try cooking your rice with a towel underneath the lid. The towel on the top soaks up the excess steam and it might just help. Just be careful not to burn your house down. If your rice is gooey, gummy, or mushy, say goodbye to your original intentions for it. Instead, turn it into horchata or rice pudding. There is no turning back mush, but your dog won't mind it. There was a point at which I had completely given up on making perfect short grain brown rice at home. So this one goes out to all the people out there who are ready to call it quits forever. I really do feel you. The ultimate fail safe for those of us who cannot make reliable rice is to cook it like pasta. Just boil a huge pot of water and dump in a serving of rice. As long as there's way more water than rice, there's no need to measure out a ratio. After about 30 minutes, give it a sample. If it's too tough, check back in about five to 10 minutes and repeat as necessary. This method lets you constantly monitor the texture, whereas traditional rice cookery requires total commitment from the moment that you don the lid. After achieving the texture you desire, it's as simple as cutting the heat, straining the water, and keeping the rice warm in the hot pot. This also works with other tricky grains such as chewy farro and fluffy quinoa. If you eat a lot of rice but really truly hate cooking it, minimize the preparation frequency by cooking a double batch. Let your rice cool completely on a sheet pan in a single layer and then once all the steam has been completely released, freeze it in thin layers and zip top bags and enjoy perfect homemade rice in minutes in the microwave. I feel moderately confident that this is all I have to say about making rice, and so now for future dishes I can say nothing more than make some rice, and I'll expect you all to have this backstory stashed away somewhere for retroactive access. This will be on the final exam, so do not forget.